news for the Highlands and Islands. Update. With the latest, I'm Ely Davis, a campaigner from Sky who had a head-on crash with a driver driving on the wrong side of the road in 2019, says more still needs to be done to improve road safety. Sharon Munro from Portree was left injured following the collision near Sligachan five years ago and has since set up the Keep Left campaign. Ms Munro says despite repeated pleas, she feels not enough has been done to improve signage and road markings. It must be so hard as a foreign driver coming here, switching between the single track roads onto a double track with no signage. How do they know where they're meant to be, what the position on the road is meant to be? So it's no wonder we're seeing more and more of these issues. Highland Council has been approached for comment. Meanwhile, Highland Council is proposing major improvements at the Corran Narrows on Loch Linney. A proposal of application notices to go before the local authority's South Planning Applications Committee later. It would see concrete slipways, a breakwater and overnight berthing structure created at Ardgower to accommodate a new electric ferry. To sport and Alan Savage, the man tasked with putting Inverness Caledonian Thistle on a better financial footing, says now is the time for supporters to back the team both on and off the field. Yesterday, directors agreed to write off loans to the club or turn them into equity following a summer of turmoil. I'm putting my money where my mouth is and they can help me if they support the manager and get really behind the club and let's wipe the slate clean and move forward. That's your BBC News for the Highlands and Islands.